How to ask a girl out while she's at work. Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today we are talking about how to ask a girl out while she is at work. So this can be a bit risky because obviously you don't want to disturb a girl while she's working. You don't want things to be awkward. You don't want to get you don't want to get into trouble in any way with her boss so you have to be very tactful the way that you do this so you obviously you want to make sure if you do ask a girl out while she's at work you want to make sure that there's not that many people about you want to make sure that it's at a time where she is not that busy you also want to make sure that she kind of knows you a little bit so you have a bit of social proof now what I mean by know you a little bit, I don't mean just sit there and talk to her about your life and get to know her. I don't mean get to know her as if like you're on a date with each other or something like that, or you try and stalk her and find her as a friend on Facebook, make her as a friend on Facebook or something like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, well, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll give you an example, right? Um, when I was single, um, a few years back, I would talk to this girl who was working at Subway. And it only happened like a few times, I was just being playful and fun. But this just gives you an idea of how you should probably approach someone who is in a work environment. So it was around Christmas time and I went in and I was just talking to the girl at the subway and I just said to her, oh you must be getting um, fed up of all these Christmas songs. And then we had a little joke about, you know, the Christmas songs and how they're, they're always on repeat and something like that. And then I took my sandwich, paid for it and then went. But then the next time I went in there, I brought it up again. So it was the same girl. So I brought it up again and I was like, oh, and they drove, <laughs> you must be getting pretty, pretty sick of these Christmas songs now. And it was funny. And then she gave me a discount off my sandwich. It was great. You know, it's just, you should be talking to people like this wherever you go. So if you talk to this girl that you like at this, wherever, you know, wherever it is, you know, wherever it's a waitress, wherever it's a bartender, uh, wherever it's just a cashier, you know, you should be having these fun little conversations with them all the time. And it doesn't matter if they're cute or not. You know, I, I've had many conversations with cashiers over the years. And they always go along a little bit like that. You know, I always, I bring something up or I, I, may, I take note of something that they're doing. Like if they're wearing a badge or if I see their name and I think it's unusual. You know, I bring it up and it's something to talk about while, you know, she's scanning your items or something like that. But you always want to be having these fun little conversations with everybody. It doesn't matter who it is. Um, because it will get you used to talking to people. And basically what you want to do is when you've created a little connection like this, that is when you can ask them out. So you can give them your number or ask for their number, depending on how you want to do it. I would personally ask for their number rather than just giving them my number because that comes across as more bold if you ask for their number. Um, but yeah, that's it really. I mean, you just want to make sure that it's not awkward um, And the best way to make it not awkward is to make sure that you brush up on your social skills and you start talking to loads of women Like this and men, you know, it doesn't matter uh, Just start talking to people in that kind of friendly happy light-hearted way Make sure that their boss is not around don't heavily flirt or you know If you, let's say you're in a queue don't you know block up the queue while you're trying to get this girl's number but preferably you want to do it at a time where it's not busy and there's no queues around anyway just to make it a bit more easier because if she's rushed off her feet then she might give you you know uh, an answer that she may not have given you initially so she might say no when really she might have actually said yes if it had been less busy you know she might you know you don't want to bother her and uh, so you just do that by just not going to wherever she works when it's not that busy and by just being really light-hearted and jokey with her. Another reason why you don't want to ask her out why there's that many people around is because it might be pressuring for her. So it might pressure her to say yes when she really wanted to say no, or it might pressure her to say no when she really wanted to say yes. So that's one of the reasons why you really have to make sure it's at a time where it's not busy. So if you think this is really scary for you and you, you don't feel comfortable asking girls out while they're at work, then the best thing that you can do is to start brushing up on your social skills. And in fact, I made a playlist on how to talk to girls, which I highly recommend that you watch. But the idea is you want to make sure that you talk to everybody, go to places that you enjoy going and just striking up conversations with people. It's a probably a lot easier to start off with people who work in shops like cashiers because you kind of forced to have a little bit of an interaction with each other, even if it's just a quick one. 
So that's probably the best way and then you can, you know, start you can start going to different places that you enjoy going to and striking up conversations that way once you feel more comfortable doing so. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then I would suggest that you just start by, you know, just smiling and giving eye contact to people. And when that becomes easy and effortless, then you can move on to striking up conversations with people. You want to be playful and happy and be friendly to absolutely everybody you meet. Because if you act that way, and that's just how you interact with strangers naturally, when you, when you start talking to a girl that you really, really like, or you notice a girl that you really, really like at this, uh, this, at this place where you go to, um, then it's much easier to strike up a conversation because you've already done it thousands and thousands of times when you've been out in the world, you know, and just talking to people. So that's why um, you really need to brush up on your social skills, especially if you are crushing on a particular girl who you only know from a work environment. And I don't mean where you work, but she works, let's say, at a coffee place that you go to a lot or a, a restaurant or a bar or something like that and just see what happens, you know. Now, obviously, there's a chance that she may say no, but that's okay, you know, you can just brush it off, you know, just laugh about it. Because obviously, if this is a place that you go to regularly, you don't want it to become awkward between you two, especially if it's, the, let's say, your favorite bar that you go to with your friends and you go there every Friday or something. You wanna make sure that it doesn't bother you, and if she says no, then just act like it doesn't bother you, even if it does. Anyway, I hope this has helped you. If you'd like to get coaching with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com shop. Alternatively, you can email me using the email address provided in this video subscription box and we can work something out that way. Please like, please subscribe, and please comment with any other subjects you would like me to discuss in a future video. And I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.